What's up guys, Zach from VR Forum here. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the test scene that comes with the Oculus Rift SDK configuration utility. For many of us, it was our first experience with the Oculus Rift or with VR in general. And it's also the first place a lot of you realized you can't use your hands in VR. So today what we're gonna be doing is testing out a recreation of the demo scene with leap motion support, which means you'll now be able to use your hands and we can knock over that stupid card tower that just sits there and taunts you. So what I've done basically is attached the Elite Motion here to the front of the rift with a piece of scotch tape. Probably not the best way to secure it to the front of the rift, but it is certainly the cheapest. All right guys, so let's hop here and let's check out the demo scene. So we got everything loaded up here. Took me a while to get everything set up. My Elite Motion kept falling off. I would not recommend using tape. Look at my hands, they are there. Uh, we're in the desk scene. Um, it's not exact, of course, but um, for the most part, it looks pretty similar to the one that comes stock with um, the SDK. And you can see the car tower here. It's already kind of fallen over. But one thing I want to get out of the way before we get started is, duh, I wanted to do that for so long. <laughs> that felt so empowering. So it's just really cool to be able to sit here and wiggle my fingers like this. The latency is really, really low. Um, so. As you can see, I'm waving my hands around pretty good and it's keeping up with it. My brain, my brain I would say is about 90% sure that these are my hands. If I sit here and stare at it for a while and just kind of wiggle my fingers around, my brain kind of just gets like, okay, that's your hand. I'll accept that. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. Small issue, like when you get your hands too close together, it can kind of confuse the uh, lead motion make you look like you have rickets or something. Uh, but for the most part, it's really good. Uh, you can reset the uh, headset by basically flipping your arm over and there's a button here for that. Um, you can also reset the entire scene by clicking on the, uh, oh, by clicking on that one. Um, I wouldn't recommend other developers do this just because like I was saying, when you get your hands too close together, it kind of screws everything up. So this is a little bit touchy and hard to um, actually use. So I would prefer probably something like in the air. I think that would be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, let's mess around here. So basically, people were always amazed by the plant in the original demo scene. So now you can actually pick it up, bring it up to your face, get real nice and close with it. Unfortunately, I do not have positional tracking right now. Um, I do not know why it works fine when I'm running uh, when I'm running this in direct to rift mode. I have to run it through extended mode to be able to record, and for some reason, uh, the positional tracking camera just won't come on. That's okay. This is still really neat. Um, anyone fancy a game of cards? Let's shuffle the deck here. Here you are. There's yours. There you go. All right. <laughs> um, so I think how the dev decided to handle picking up stuff is just kind of making it stick to you, which, you know, works. Let's see if we can scoop some stuff up here. This is really cool. This works well. Pick stuff up. Just kind of come up under it. You know, my hands go through the desk, which is a little weird. My brain's like, what the heck? That's not supposed to happen. Is that a dude? Um. But yeah, this is this is so cool. Uh, pick up this lamp. <laughs> Slam this dude with the get out of here. That's so fun. Um, I wish I could flip this desk over. Screw this guy. I could sit here and I could fool around with this all day. You know, I have a real desk in front of me with stuff I could throw, but it's so much more fun to do it in virtual reality. Let me reset the scene one more time. Oh, craziness. Can do it. Yes. Let's see what else we have. Dear diary, I'm going to try the leap motion. Awesome. Ooh. Get off my hand. <laughs> see if we can read this book. Oh. Look at that. That is so cool. 
too fine a print to actually read. But drop my book. So yeah, I feel like this is a pretty underrated demo. I haven't heard too many people talking about this one, but uh, this is really cool. It's my first lead motion experience, so I don't have you know much to compare it to. But to me, this is look at that. Almost no lag whatsoever. Yeah, this is really neat. Uh, round of applause to the developer. Great job. Great. Okay. Great job. Two thumbs up for me. Um, I would love to see more of this kind of stuff. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed watching me fumble around with stuff on a desk and throw it around and act crazy, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you're a developer or you have a cool uh, demo or game in mind that you want me to try, feel free to send me a message. I'm always open to try new things, um, especially fleet motion. This is freaking great. All right, guys. Peace. You guys have a good one. Give one of these to these cards. <laughs> I'm gonna keep filling around with this. You guys go watch some of my other videos, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you guys in the next video.